Hello, welcome to Dot Wildcraft. Uh, I said in the last video uh, we were taking down the the final bit of the cabin. So I've got a I've just been editing manically uh, the uh, building of the cabin, and uh, it's to like epic cinematic trailer music. So that's all fun with uh, Ryan and Kieran's voice overlaid. So here we go. That's it. That's the. Uh, the last of the cabin base gone because um, it served its function now and uh, uh, so here we are here's the the wild garlic uh, beds we've just put some more logs on for shade uh, just to keep the moisture in a little bit more and then round the edges there we built up some small hugel culture we'll just uh, give this a rake all the way around put some mulch on it and then scatter the wild seeds are you right it's okay if you want. Um, oh, we're just uh, planting some seeds and stuff. Uh, some families up there, <laughs> they're like, oh, can they come in? <laughs> so, uh, so I'll just cut back when, I'll show you around this area now. It's, uh, it needs a bit of a tidy, but a bit of the Wildcraft HQ sign got, got a little bit burnt, but it is. It survived intact and it were nice to come across this this is what the boards that were uh, we left in the cabin when the cabin were up um, you know, and the loads of nice uh, like notes of what we was gonna do uh, so uh, wildlife bird feeders this were for the ark project and then uh, you know so people were leaving like nice messages um, where we're Right, I've snapped it all up now. This is the the bag of wild seeds uh, that was collected all last year. Um, doesn't look like a lot, but there's tons and tons, days and weeks, uh, all for eight different seasons, uh, just all uh, clumped into one and dried. And then this is uh, what I've left in with it. This is off the, the birch. This is the OM symbol for birch that was collected off uh, this special tree over here, which is the only surviving um, native tree uh, in the whole canopy of this non-native spruce plantation. So a little bit of extra magic there. Uh, we've got like some, some rose hips and uh, fireweed and all sorts of different like seeds so uh, it's like a, a big lucky dip of uh, what will come up but these are uh, we can scatter them along this borders but I'll, I'll chuck them in there and they'll probably fly off and uh, find the, the home of where they want to go and things like that all right so we're just Finished up raking in there to put the new seeds in and got a bit of mulch on these little hugel cultures all the way around. So it's time to chuck the seeds in. And uh, it's just started snowing. I feel like I should do, say some some words, but I'll go, oh, no, 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 <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're listening, them planty gods, right, get another handful, oh it's going good now, look at that, perfect sinkage, I don't know if you can see it, I bet you can hear it though, look at that, it's just started snowing, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. It stopped snowing, but look at that. Looks like snow. We don't fire weed seeds and that. Just do a Caesar Alpin Jasper. All seeds, all from throughout the valley. Magic of the valley. Oh, the snow again. Valley dust. Well, oh, it started snowing again. Look at that. Yep. I stopped. I stopped and it stopped snowing. Started again, snowing again. That is magic. That's a sign. That sign. And there. That's months worth of pocket seeds. Right, so 
that's all the wild seeds in the ground now. Um, uh, I'll just give you a little walk round of this. Um, there's no reason for people to, you know, walk on there with the seeds in. Um, I've left that bit there like that, but I might just give that a tiny little bit of rake. Uh, and then, uh, this is the pond, so in the next video we'll be collecting the, uh, this pond liner got popped, uh, but we do have one to replace that, uh, so I think maybe we'll just pop one back in now, or could even dig a, another section out, this is this side, uh, you see there's like the path, the gates there, there's a clear path there, and the gates there, and I think Hopefully just people will be drawn to this area. Um, then it's, a, it's nice and open now this and all the cabins gone. Warcraft HQs. Um, so I will uh, just get the signs all made up. For this area now, just going to take these, clear up these stumps, come up with a chainsaw and just make it nice and tidy. And then... Uh, make sort of uh, some little uh, benches and workbench area and families gravitate to the tree so I've got to make a notice board and a, a little bench over there hopefully these will be the you know <laughs> they won't be the last bags of rubbish that won't be taken out and all that for sure but um, hopefully the littering will uh, reduce uh, now, because there has been signs of um, that happening now, uh, that we've removed the bins and uh, made it look a certain way, so people treat it a certain way, it looks familiar, as in it looks allotmenty, and uh, people seem to be respecting it a lot more. Jasper, what's going on? Just in the gallery. It's nice and quiet here. These cover minions at work. Minions. What yellow at? <laughs> it's nearly a minion. Right, so, so we just had a salvage. So we've got a load of willow, and then Tanine's taking this for her forest school thingy bobs over at the retreat. And then uh, this is kale, mint, different types of, I think that's like some currant. Uh, just took stuff that looked pretty alive. This turf didn't want to be separated, so just took that up. Uh, comfrey there. Got some tree guards and some um, some bags there that we could maybe repurpose, put into uh, fill with earth and ram it a bit, and then maybe make a pizza oven if we've got an exercise ball or something like that. Polystyrene mixed with cement, so it's lightweight carrying in as well is supposedly the way um well yeah so we're just going to take them up to the woods and uh i don't know whether that'll be today still uh, but we're going to go and have a forage in the park and uh, have a little cook up don't forget to like and subscribe up else.